Welcome to our review on plant structure. First thing we need to understand then are a couple of terms that hopefully we remember from about year seven. So when we're talking about a tissue, we're talking about a group of similar cells working together. And when we're talking about an organ, that's a group of different tissues that work together to carry out a specific function. Now plants do have organs. So we need to remember four of them and what they actually do. First one is the stem, which is supporting our plant upright, and it also allows substances to be transported through the plant. Second organ is the leaf, and that produces food by the process of photosynthesis. Third one is our root, which anchors the plant into the ground, and it also takes up the minerals and the water from the soil. And finally, we have our flower, and that's involved in the reproduction of our plant. Inside our plant, we've got this very important structure called the vascular bundle. Now, the vascular bundle is made up of two tissues, of which we need to remember the names, which is xylem and phloem. Now, we use these vascular bundles for transport and support, and their locations are different in different parts of the plant. So if we look at the root, first of all, we can see that the xylem is in the middle there with the phloem around the outside. If we consider the stem, you can see the vascular bundles are arranged in like a circle towards the outside. And then finally, if we look at the leaf, you can see that the vascular bundles are arranged in those little veins that run through it. If we think about xylem, first of all, these are dead cells, okay? And they've got this hollow cavity in the middle called the lumen. Now, the reason that they're dead is because the walls of them have become very thickened with cellulose. And the whole reason behind that is to support the plant. And what happens is all of these dead cells are stacked end to end to form these tubes. Now, our xylem transports water. And the easiest way to remember that is just think of the alphabet, okay? Water in xylem, WXY. And we'll also be able to transport those dissolved minerals because they're in the water. So our xylem is going to be transporting the water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the shoots and leaves. Second tissue we need to remember is the phloem. Now, these are living cells that are again stacked up to make these tubes. And their job is to transport the food from the leaf to all parts of the plant. And the easiest way I find to remember this is, bearing in mind that our plants obviously are making lots of sugar, then the easiest way is think about Ben and Jerry's. Everyone loves Ben and Jerry's ice cream packed full of good sugars. And of course, we can think of good old fish food. Starts with a pH, just like our phloem. So if you think about Ben and Jerry's and ice cream and their lovely fish food flavor, then what we'll find is our fish food and our phloem all to do with the sugar. Last thing to consider then is the support that these vascular bundles actually provide. Now, as we mentioned on that earlier diagram, they're located in different places in different parts of our plant. And the reason behind that is to do with the different support we need. So in the center of the root where we find it, then the reason behind that location is to allow the plant to bend, but keep it anchored in the soil still. When we think about the stem, it's around that outer edge of it. And that's to obviously allow it to bend that little bit, but not too much in the breeze because we don't want it bending massive amounts. And finally, that network in the leaf of all those different veins is all to do with supporting the softer tissues and giving them that ability to still have that broad surface.